What's up, Wayne Barron here with Dark Effect Studios, and we're inside a SQL Server Management Studio. This, what we're going to do is that we're going to attach a database. Now, this database came off my live server, and so I want to bring it over here so that I can work with more data instead of what I've actually got running on the local database. So we're going to right-click on our databases, choose Attached, then we're going to choose Add, and we're going to come over here to our F drive. SQL data, we're going to choose this very first one. We're going to come over here to log, and then we're going to come down to G, log, and we're going to choose the top one. We're going to click on OK. And we get this error. Let's go ahead and scroll over. So the attached database failed. Some file names listed could not be created. Check related errors. So we're going to try something. Let's go ahead and exit out of SQL Server Management Studio. Come back over here to my apps, right click and choose run as administrator, choose yes. Okay, now with it running as administrator, let's right click on database, choose attached, choose add, come back up to F, top one. Once again, come down to G, top one. Now let's try it. Okay, and there we go. You must launch SQL Server with administrator privileges in order to attach the database. I am Wayne Barron, the Starfleet Studios. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.